Welcome to my kitchen. Um, this is casual. It's about having fun. And uh, really, I, I think what the purpose of food is, it, it brings people together. And uh, I'm, I'm fortunate to travel uh, to many countries around the world. And uh, one thing I've, I've seen and I can, you know, share with everyone is that we all eat and we all love food and we all, it is that unifier with so many cultures. So I'm delighted to be here and to have you all in my kitchen. So I thought let's start and how I would have, how I would start a lunch or a dinner if you guys were to come over is just get some peaches or nectarines. And uh, I'm throwing, uh, <laughs> I'm throwing you guys a curveball because this wasn't on the menu, but I figured when I was shopping for ingredients, I saw all these amazing peaches and I thought, this is what I grew up on, and uh, I thought, why not um, give some inspiration for this week and for everyone who's watching to uh, just do this really simple cocktail, so to speak. But it's not really a cocktail. It's just <laughs> wine and peaches. And um, it's funny because growing up, this is what my grandfather would always do. And um, if I can make a little confession, even at 10 or 11, we would get a peach each that was soaked in wine. So uh, this is just a Nero d'Avola. It's a Sicilian wine. Uh, it's, it's somewhat uh, uh, full body. It's fruity. It's really nice. And this is what you do. A half hour before your guests come over, just uh, fill, uh, fill a jug with peaches. And uh, you can also just put in a couple of peaches into a glass and and what's nice it, it it gently flavors the wine not too much but more importantly the peaches get the wine uh they they absorb the wine so you just have the peaches as a little snack at the very end so you, you this is what you do so it's okay if i have a, a little sip just to make sure it's good quality control folks is that okay <laughs> um Absolutely. This is a, a brazaola, which is beef. And you can just go to an Italian deli uh, gourmet. This I got at Italy in Toronto. You can also get it at Loblaws. And it's fantastic thin slices of beef. And it's uh, air dried. And you guys can see that. And essentially, you just put it on a plate. <laughs> It's kind of like one of those recipe hacks, right? But it's really fantastic. And and this is really what a carpaccio is all about, thin slices of beef. So this is just giving it a different spin. And it would be something we would serve up, you know, with friends on the, um, on the patio. And it's really delicious. But we're going to accessorize it with, with some great ingredients. We're just going to dress it with some rocket or some uh, rucola, some... You can do some spinach, a little bit of parmigiano reggiano, and we're just going to shave it. Nothing, nothing too fancy, although it does look really pretty. I don't know if you guys can see this, but again, I'll, uh, I'll give you guys a, a little look on it. And it just gives a really gorgeous presentation, and it, it's simple. It's using store-bought ingredients, and it's about assembly, so... Um, I wanted to just bring this up because I think it's a good introduction to, you know, people that kind of get overwhelmed with cooking and, you know, how can I do it? And well, this is what we do. Um, this is what chefs chefs do in Italy and, uh, and it's easy and it works and people love it. So a little bit of lemon juice, extra virgin olive oil from Tuscany. Perfect. Is that, is that okay? That's good. I can't see what I'm getting, but okay, good. Yeah, That's good. so excellent. Thank you. The first thing we're going to do is um, prepare the, um, the sauce. Some restaurants, you know how they crisp up the skin and, uh, and they put the sauce over it or underneath. Uh, this, the sauce is done in a separate pan. So um, why don't we do that? Why don't we uh, keep it crispy and then you can still remove the skin. So it's one of those things. <laughs> now, uh, I'm going to share with you probably a big surprise that the misconception of Italian cooking that uh, it's lots of garlic. For the most part, Italian cooking has very little garlic, believe it or not. And it's, it's, um, it's often a, a North American conception. Italian chefs will often put garlic, but then remove it at the last minute. 
And the way they, they do it is by keeping it whole like that. And it allows you to remove the garlic on the spot. So really easy. See that okay? So all of yep. Okay, this is, uh, who needs a DOP? <laughs> Is that okay? You guys got okay? Yeah. This is this is broadcasting COVID style. <laughs> exactly. Okay, so and now the so I'm just checking on the Branzino. It's really looking good. And so I just flipped it just for a second, even though I said I wasn't going to. So this is done and I'm turning it off. It looks really nice. The sauce. I can tell that looks beautiful from here. It, 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 it smells wonderful and it's, um, Yeah, that is gorgeous. And, and so the, uh, the, um, the um the skin can be left on or removed and um and that's it really really that's simple beautiful. and um i mean it was fun because you really kind of you know it demonstrates that you don't have to get overwhelmed and it's really simple and we did this uh, in fairly short order